I have uh, I've got some comments uh, during uh, the last years when I've been working here in my garage that uh, it's quite uh, tidy. I keep it quite tidy in here. Uh, perhaps a bit more tidy than the average workshop garage. And there are, of course, many reasons for why I keep my workspace as tidy as I do. I made a video about one of the reasons. That is, I also use this uh, space as the garage for my cars. So I need to clean up, um, move everything in to the end here of my workshop so I can drive in my cars uh, for the night and especially during the winter when we have snow here in Norway. But uh, another reason is just um, I like the style, this minimalistic style. It's uh, white, gray, black, not too many colors. Tidy, like this the door is not completely closed. I don't like that. I, I want it to be, something is uh, in the way here. Okay, this one. Ah, okay. Uh, even my box is gray, so everything, uh, following some kind of uh, design language. At least I try so. But perhaps the most important reason is uh, avoiding accidents. Because uh, it's much more likely an accident happens if uh, you don't have it tidy around you. A messy workshop, um, even just your desk, if it's uh, too much stuff going on there, it's very easy you bump into something, it falls down and breaks, or you can trip over a cord on, on the floor. And uh, especially if it's uh, too much stuff around, having open, free space, that's perhaps the most important to avoid accidents, I think. And um, then you need to have, keep it tidy, you know. I had my share of accidents, yeah, oof. And typically, when I'm sloppy, when I'm uh, in a bit too much hurry and I don't have time to tidy up and it's getting messy, then the accident happens. <clears throat> I think I need a new broom. This one is uh, yeah, not 100%. Talking about accidents. Also, when you keep it tidy, you normally need to be some kind of uh, structured. And if you are structured, uh, at least for me, then I, everything has its uh, fixed spot. And that also makes it easier to find whatever tool you are looking for. Who hasn't uh, spent hours searching for that special tool you haven't used for a while? It takes forever, you know. But I am far from perfect. So uh, I'm constantly trying to improve both my structured system where I keep my stuff and also disciplining myself because uh, sometimes I get a bit lazy and it gets messy. But uh, no, it's pretty clean here. I've done a bigger job and uh, I'm very satisfied with the situation except for this. When it's wet here in the garage, when I'm driving in my cars, especially during the winter and it's snow and rain and stuff on my cars, I use this one to push the water out, um, most of it. And uh, these two, they, I think it can be improved. They are a bit worn. I, th I have bought some new stuff. Also, uh, keeping it here is not the perfect spot for it, so I have a plan for improvement. And the improvement is um, replacing this with new ones. Actually, only one. That is also something I, that is also something I try to see if I can free up space by um, making smarter solutions. So do I really need two of these one broom 
stick, uh, broom uh, is, is actually the right name, kost, we call it here in Norway, uh, the brush, and then this uh, for pushing out water. I have to Google it. What is this called? Could this be combined to one tool? And it can. I've bought something here. This is aluminum and it has a, uh, it's threaded at the end so I can fit a different kind of uh, equipment to one stick. This brush, I don't like it. I like the good old fashioned one. So I will try to modify this to my likings. And for that, this gray box is important. I made some tools here already. This one is made to put a wooden stick here, so I cannot attach this one directly. That's why my 3D printer comes handy. So I made this adapter, 3D printer it, using PETG, which is a quite a sturdy plastic. So I think this should be good enough. I just made a template from this and made this threaded, so it should now fit into here. And then I've made uh, this one as uh, a wall put on the wall so I could uh, hang it up. Also 3D printed just to make it nice. And I've also 3D printed uh, this uh, box. So I have uh, somewhere to put this. So this is the new um, thingy I will use to uh, remove water from the floor. So let me show you where I want to put this. This is the exact opposite uh, corner of the garage uh, compared to where my broom has been previously. So now I think I'll hang it here when I'm not using it. And it shouldn't be, uh, yeah, like this corner isn't uh, in use to anything. Uh, this is my charger for my electric car and I have my fuses there and yeah. I think this is a nice spot out of the way. And uh, then I just need to put on the screw here. The broom is where it's supposed to be, very well. And then it is uh, the holder for this one. I thought I'd put it here in the corner. Still don't know what this is. In Norwegian we call it svaber, uh, which is uh, pushing out water from the floor. So um, I made this in a um, different part. I've 3D printed all these parts. It's so nice to have a 3D printer. Uh, you can solve all your problems with it, almost. So I made uh, this one as the bottom part. It has holes under it, so if it's uh, wet, it will uh, not fill up this box. And that's it. A small fun little project. Didn't take me many minutes. And now I can get rid of this old broom and uh, Swaber, as we say here in Norway. And um, maybe you're thinking, what's the big deal? What is this? Any point making a video about this? Anyone can do it. And I agree. Anyone can do it. You can do it. Everybody can do it. It's just, uh, I feel sometimes when I look at others, uh, uh, workshops, garages, uh, even on YouTube. Uh, doesn't seem like everybody do it. Tidy up, uh, keep it clean, structured, um, freeing up space. But uh, I highly recommend you to do it. 
I don't say I am any better than you. Or maybe, no, not really. I say that you will benefit, you will get a better life. You will be quicker finding your tool and equipment if you're structured, having a fixed spot for them. You will be avoiding accidents. Maybe you even will save some money because uh, what happens if you can't find anything? You buy a new one and when you buy something new then you find the old one and then you have two of them and then you have even more stuff laying around. So uh, my message to you, go out to your workshop, to your garage and tidy up. Or not. If you feel you can manage without having it tidy, without having a very structured space, I would like to hear how you do it and uh, how come that can be better than having it tidy and having a structured space. Let me know. Would be nice, really interesting to hear because maybe I'm completely wrong. Something is off here, isn't it? I'm not done yet. done.